in the back here, when you're setting this up, you've only got four connectors. Like you're not, this, this is part of the um, IP for this. These connectors slide into the back. So you have four of these, so once you push the two plastic parts together, you lay the tube around it, lay the vinyl in it, and just push the, the connectors in. And that makes it... Uh, well, it won't come out then, it's, it's locked in. So if you're going to take it apart? You just pull out two of those, uh -huh. and then you, this whole piece just comes out, and you take out another two in the front, and then you take the whole inflatable section off it. Wow, it would be nice to see it without the things. I mean, not now, but like yeah, yeah, later. Nice. Let me see, let me get this cooler. Can you remove the cooler? I want them to see the, the two parts. Handle. So basically you got this, let's say this is the kayak and then this is the uh, the rib. This is the, uh, the tubes. You got the kayak and you got the tubes. You basically did a rib boat. Yeah, that's a rib boat. That's oh my like, god! <laughs> that's exactly it. You know, my friend has been talking about making a kayak rib boat for ages, and it's here. It is. <laughs> this is crazy. Like now it's clicking. Now it's clicking. Ah, yeah, got it. <laughs> Look at this. You got the main part, and of course, you know, a crazy video would be to kind of deflate it in the middle of the ocean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're still floating. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool, man. Wow, look at this, two piece emerge right here. Actually, three pieces, right? Three pieces. It's three piece. Yeah. So it's one, two, one, three. One, two, yeah, exactly. Wow, nice. And the seat moves forward yep. and... You've got your seat uh, details here, the seat moves back. Nice. Cool, and you got more gear tracks right here. Sweet. Nice. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay, I like this. I like this. I, I like. I got the concept. Yeah, now it's now it's epic. And you could spend this. You could make bigger boards. Whoa! Now that you've got the concept right, we can. You say if a customer wanted a touring version. Fine, we've got a touring version. If they wanted a surf version, we can sell them just the tube with a different nose shape with, with more buoyancy in the front so they can get a surf, a surf yeah. boat. So you can change the boat how you want it without investing in a whole new boat. So you can change out the tail section and put a jet unit in it. Uh, you can change the shape. It's, it's basically when you say a jet unit, you mean a, a motor? Yeah. How big? Like how many horsepower? Uh, it's a thousand watt, 48 volt. So that would be in terms of HP? Um, horsepower is probably oh, pounds. It might be 800, oh, 80 pounds. 80 pounds? So Trust. how much, in, in terms of speed, how fast can that go? About, oh, just under 10 miles an hour. 10 miles an hour, so you could put that on this thing? Yeah. Whoa. But, but what the, the jet unit is, is this part, it's the back section. So this whole part will be a jet unit. Unit. Yeah. Oh my God. So that means you can buy this and then say, oh, I need a jet unit. So you just buy the tail section with the jet unit in it, and you just you can just put it back into your boat. <laughs> this is cool, man. This is gonna be epic. I hope all that makes it to market because uh, that, that's gonna be huge. Uh, it absolutely is going to make it to market, I can tell you now, that is guaranteed. And you did well by making sure all this is protected, copyrighted, because yeah, get, this is a big concept. It like, is. this could be the, the, the new thing. Yes, correct. You get a module boat. Yeah. And it's not like the, the plastic ones that, that you put the two plastics together and it looks awful and it doesn't quite work that well. This is, this is a rip boat. Yeah. This is a rip boat. Yeah. Whoa, good job. Boom. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Covering Kayaks with Alias. We're here at ICAST 2022. We got Peter. He designed the Johnny 10. Correct. When are we getting the 12? Come on, right, bring it bring it home. We, we gotta oh, test that boat. I anyway. do have another story for that one. <laughs> you can tell the story right here because people are gonna ask about Johnny 12 and we'll just tell them. Okay, well we actually do have a Johnny, a big Johnny. Uh, it's really fast, it takes 6 to 10 horsepower, um, you won't see it at the show, but it's coming soon. It's coming so, soon. So okay. we're hoping Miami Boat Show, 
Yeah. Miami yeah. boat show. I'll be there. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where I leave. So it's it's looking it's really fun boat. So you thought this ten was fun with the six on the back. This thing is a true six on the back fun. So that means it's February next year. Yeah. All right, so you got something cool here. What is this, Peter? Can okay, so what what you have here is something very new for us. It is it's called airships. Um, airships because it's actually half full of air. The, the motivation for doing this product was really trying to find new customers outside of the fishing. It needs to be portable and affordable. And when I say affordable, it means that people can afford to own this particular product where it would be difficult for them to own such, such as a big plastic fishing kayak. If you live in an apartment, you don't have storage, you have a small car, whatever, you can afford to own this because it, it actually breaks down and comes apart. It's a hybrid between inflatable and hard structure, which means you have the benefits of uh, a defined hard hull and you have the actual collapsibility of the airship around it or the actual inflatable tube. The principle of the design is you have two parts, you have a forward part and a stern part. You push the two plastic parts together, you lay the inflatable tube around the parts, put the four connectors that hold it together, you pump it up and the whole structure becomes rigid. So it, wait, 10 minutes set it up, 5 minutes to take it apart it's, it, and it gives you the flexibility. <laughs> Pack it up in a uh, carry bag, put it in the back of your car, put it in the elevator, go up to your apartment, you're, you're good to go. You can afford to, to own this kayak. So as I say, it's, uh, it's got three SKUs at the moment. We have a stand-up paddleboard, a SUP, which is the um, same format. We have the wreck version of this, which is your uh, pedal drive pro fish and a seat platform with the eight ball rudder. That is our wreck um, SKU. The angler SKU is all of that, plus the storage boxes and rail that connects them on the back. It's got under seat storage under through here, and we've got a storage bag at the back of the seat. The other interesting thing about this is you can customise it and going forward what we are planning, uh, we've actually got a jet unit we can put in the back of this. So it means that you would actually, you could own the angler, you, all you have to do is buy the tail section with the jet unit and you have a completely different product. Uh, we're looking at the shape of the tubes will change, you can either have a surf version, touring version, I mean it's really you can own this in your own way. It's, it's, Similar to the concept of Johnny, but just taking it a little bit further. Uh, as I say, I love this thing because it's so much fun to pedal. It's so light, so responsive. Uh, it's just a great little toy and something you can afford to own. Anybody can, and that's what we're hoping for. So this Angler One, how big is it? Like, in terms of size, how long is it? How wide is it? Uh, this is 11 foot 6 and the inches are 35 inches across. 35? Cool. And have you stood up on it? Yeah. It, this thing is so stable and the reason it's stable is it's got a single concave hull. Uh, to explain how that works, in the, down the centre of the hull is actually curved, which means it puts all your buoyancy on the outside edges of the shape. So if you have a standard uh, inflatable uh, board, generally the hull is flat. Um, this one, because it's uh, plastic inner, we can put the concave in it, gives you more performance. The rocker line is stable, it doesn't bounce up and down, and you, you get the buoyancy where you need it on the outside. So for the width of the board, you get the maximum stability uh, that, that you can for that situation. When is it going to be available? Oh, we're looking at next year, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's just when. I can't give you an exact date on that. And um, the pricing, we have got the pricing on it, but it's confidential. It's at this confidential, point. so they're going to have to stay tuned to know how much they're going to sell for it. Okay, Absolutely. So I know you had it on the water a, a lot of times. How fast did it go? Like, in our cruising speed, how, what's the speed that you can maintain on this without sweating that much? Oh, it's fast. It's really fast. 
I would, uh, looking at miles, maybe four and a half miles an hour. It does be four and a half? Well, it depends on how fit you are. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. The, the you probably seven miles an hour, me, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the best way I can describe it is like having done all the boats behind me, there is a resistance when you're pedaling it on all these other boats. With this, there is no resistance at all. Because and, it's on top of the water basically. And, and it's just like it's just like riding a bike. And that's the closest thing I can sort of explain to you um, how this thing works. It, and it, that's why it's so much fun. Like this thing is a truly a sports car compared to everything else that we actually make. Thank you, Peter, oh, okay. for this awesome boat. Hopefully one day we'll get to put it on the water. You have, I look forward to your testing on that one for sure, absolutely.